let's talk about the most addicting fall fragrances. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Lima from Scented Moments channel where I help you to discover the amazing world of perfumery. So these fall fragrances that I will talk about, they are a symphony of spicy, earthy, gourmand accords that transport us to the a world of comfort and nostalgia that usually fall season captivates. Um, and so I have here 10 fragrances the majority of them are niche and just I just have two exclusive designers. I will not mention them in a specific order. So let's dive into these delicious, addicting, cozy fragrances. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is from the house of Stefan Umberg Lucas from the Snake Collection, Mortal Skin Collection. Um, I really don't recall the name of this collection, but I feel that the collection overall kind of flies in under the radar because this collection was released last year or a couple of years ago but there is only one fragrance that is really popular which is God of Fire not my favorite my favorite is this one Sand Dance beautiful bottle presentation uh, I have Mortal Skin uh, which was already a beautiful bottle presentation but the color is of course different so Sand Dance is a beautiful delicious blend of whiskey cacao coffee sandalwood a creamy sandalwood tonka bean styrax and i get a hint small hint of tobacco in here uh and i mentioned coffee but i don't know if coffee is really an official note but i really get like a bit of a roasted coffee with tobacco but definitely you have right in the opening this boozy licorice accord with a bit of cacao, uh, very resinous, creamy, absolutely love sand dance. Really, the color of this bottle really represents the scent inside. Absolutely beautiful, very addicting, very sexy in my opinion. Sand dance by Stefan Umberluca. The next fragrance, it's from the house of Pantheon Roma and this one is Trastevere. Very underrated, this brand overall. Um, and Trastevere is one of the best gourmand fragrances out there. Absolutely love this one. This is chestnut with vanilla. It's, it's really a gourmand heaven. So delicious, very nutty, very creamy, very buttery, very milky, like tonic vanilla. So, so good. I just want to eat this bottle. So good, so smooth, nothing scratchy in here. It's very unique in my opinion. Never smelled any gourmand fragrance like this. I mean, amazing perfume, perfect for fall. It's Trastevere by Pantheon Roma. And this is an Extrait de Parfum. All of the fragrances are Extrait de Parfum. The next fragrance, this is from the house of Robé Piquet. And this is very underrated, although I already did a review of this one a long time ago. But I feel that this is very underrated. Well, Robé Piguet in general, I think it's an underrated uh, brand. Uh, and this one is Oud de Vin. So, so good. This is coffee heaven. Creamy, chocolatey, patchouli coffee with a bit of this Western Oud. Meaning not funky, not challenging, just more of a dark, woodsy accord so good one of the most realistic coffee accords it's in here so so good so addicting this creams fall season um absolutely beautiful scent right here eau de vin by robe Piguet. the next fragrance this is from the house of uh, violet and it's one of my favorite discoveries of this year so far and this one, this fragrance is my favorite of the brand, but I have three more on my wish list that are definitely full bottle worthy. But this one is just delicious. It is Un Air d'Apogée. This one right here, beautiful bottle presentation right here. Beautiful. Uh, very heavy. This is a 75 ml uh, Eau de Parfum concentration. Uh, very heavy again um, and really feels uh, nice in hand. So Uner d'Apogée, this is a honeyed tobacco ambery fragrance with a hint of leather. You also have uh, clary sage in here. This fragrance 
is delicious. It's one of my favorite, currently one of my favorite tobacco fragrances. I love this one. This screams fall. So sensual. So elegant at the same time. And this, this is not Nax. I mean, for example, Nax was from Zerzhov. It's very loud, powerful fragrance. This one, oh, it's, although it's intense, but it's more tamed. It's really more elegant, more refined, and still very delicious. I mean, beautiful honey in here, uh, very syrupy uh, with the tobacco, with the amber, with the leather. Oh, beautiful, beautiful perfume. This is, this is really a, uh, like a modernized, um, sweet tobacco, but with that French elegance. Absolutely love Monet Lapouget by Violet. The next fragrance, this is an amber, one of my favorite amber fragrances ever. This is from the house of Parfum d'Empire, and this is Ambre Rousse, and this is in the older 100ml bottle um, presentation. Ambre Rousse. Oh. So good. Again, screams fall, screams that um, warm sweater with with your big black coffee near to the the fireplace. It's what this fragrance for me. What the image that captivates. It's it's really that. This is very boozy. So you have champagne. I think you have vodka in here as well. But this is definitely it's the champagne that it's more. Uh, prominent it's very bubbly very effervescent and then you have the, your dried fruits and the sweet amber accord man this fragrance so so good very unique in my opinion because of this champagne vodka um, accords right on top then you have the dried fruits like this slightly caramelized sweet dried fruits uh, with amber so good, so addicting, very sensual in my opinion. Ambre Rousse by Parfum de Beer, one of the best ambers out there. The next fragrance, this is from the house of Papillon Artisan Perfumes. I love this brand, love Liz Moves, love her work. I mean, can't really distress enough this brand, uh, this indie brand from UK. Um, amazing perfumes. Uh, this one is... The, one of the most addicting, one of the most, one of the best gourmand fragrances out there. This is Bengal Rouge. And you see how, how much I already wore it. I purchased this one last year and I wore this so much, especially during Christmas time uh, and November also, uh, because I think I purchased this one like in October last year. It's so almost exactly a year ago. Oh man, this, this is amazing. This creams fall and also Christmas. So good. It's really captivates the cozy uh, sweets that we have at the table when during the Christmas period. Oh, it's so good. So here I get like a bread accord, like a sweet bread accord. But uh, so you have vanilla, you have honey, lots of honey in here. You have rose like Turkish rose, you have a pulp and axe and together create really a sweet but very smooth, silky even perfume, but very warm, very cozy, very delicious. I absolutely love this one. So unique, but again, it has like that cinnamon, uh, cinnamon bun feel. It's very, very delicious. I, I really love this one. One of my favorite gourmand fragrances. And this for me screams fall and also winter. I mean, of course, these fragrances also work wonderfully during the winter time. But, but yes, Bengal Rouge is so damn addicting. Absolutely love this one. If you love gourmand fragrances, this is a must have. Bengal Rouge by Papillon Artisan Perfumes. The next fragrance, this is from the house of Guerlain from the La et La Matier collection. And this is a darling for me. This is none other than Tonka Imperial. 
this one right here this is in the old bottle presentation the 75 ml bottle absolutely love this one a tonque imperial with a love at first sniff although it took me quite a while to grab a full bottle and i think this was this was my last full bottle of largely in la matière from in the older this older bottle presentation this one is my favorite tonka bean fragrance this is of course tonka bean almond vanilla it's so damn good this is the most realistic tonka bean fragrance out there and i think i think now fev delicious is discontinued or at least it's very hard to find or maybe it's just exclusive to paris now but while i do like fev delicious but i felt always felt fev delicious very sweet like too sweet and um, much more playful this one here is more true to the note it's a bit of bitter it's like bittersweet uh fragrance yeah, with almond and then this creamy sweet vanilla, but very smooth vanilla. In the end, this fragrance is very smooth, uh, very elegant, but at the same time, very addicting. Absolutely love this one. It's really one of my favorites from Guerlain from this line. It's Tonka Imperial, and this is perfect, perfect for fall time. The next fragrance is from House of Chanel from the Les Exclusives, none other than Cohomonel. Absolutely love this one. Cohomonel, I mean, fall and winter, uh, you just pick um, Cohomonel when you want during the fall and winter time. But this is perfect for date nights. I mean, actually, all of these are perfect for date night situations, for cozy scenarios. And this one is so good. You have um, this white chocolatey accord, very creamy, very realistic actually with patchouli. And these for me are the most prominent notes. So it's, of course you, you have, you have of course a mild touch of alehides in here, but it's definitely more about this white chocolatey accord with patchouli, like an earthy patchouli absolutely love Coco Mondel. I mean, Coco Mondel was not my favorite, actually, my fa uh, my my first, my first less exclusive was Le Lyon, but this one, I think, number, I think this one was the second one, actually. This one was Sycamore, but I think it was Coco Mondel. Coco Mondel was the, my second purchase from um, the less exclusives, and it's still one of my favorites. Absolutely love Coco Mondel. This very cozy, very warm, very inviting, but at the same time, very elegant. This one is extremely elegant. Of course, it's a Chanel, so of course it's elegant. Um, absolutely love this one. Check this one out if you have yet to. It's Home Model by Chanel, and this is in the Eau de Parfum concentration. The next fragrance, this is from a brand that I still have yet to talk about, and it was an amazing discovery at Exxons. Um, and I really love to check with the guys from Lorenzo Pazalia and uh, they were very kind. They gave me this uh, full bottle. I absolutely love this one. Um, and yes, I still have yet to talk about this brand. Um, I really, it was really a pleasure to meet them. Um, and this fragrance specifically, this is so addicting. It's perfect. This one screams fall. Another one that screams fall. Uh, this one is Carbonara. Uh, Extrait de Parfum, I think all of them are Extrait de Parfum. Uh, this is a 50ml, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 50ml, I think all of them are in 50ml. Amazing. This fragrance, it's very unique. Uh, it's, it's very spicy, very creamy, sweet, like sweet, borderline sugary, but it's never too much. It's, it's really well balanced here. So it's, it's boozy. I will, I will even spray my hand. Um, yeah, very boozy. You have rum right in the opening. Spicy, like peppery. And then you start to detect the creamy vanilla 
ambery resin because this also has resins like Elemi resin. But yes, right in the opening, it's like this boozy, peppery creaminess that you start to detect. Oh, it's so good. So yummy. Absolutely love this one. This, this is really perfect for fall. Very cozy, lasts for a long time. Doesn't really project all that much, but it really lasts. I really like this one, Carbonada by Lorenzo Basaglia, and I really advise you to check this house out. Very neat, they are very avant-garde, uh, very extravagant house, I would say, but they really did a great job here. It's Carbonada by Lorenzo Basaglia. And last, but by no means least, this is the best vanilla fragrance in the market. Uh, and I want to do my updated favorite vanilla fragrances. Uh, which the first one was the first and the so far the last I already uploaded that one like a couple years ago So I want to do an updated video, but this one will still be featured in that video I will already give you this heads up. It's still the best in my opinion. Uh, it is from the house of Indult Tiota Amazing fragrance. This was created by Francis Courjean before uh, He created his own brand actually uh, Tiota is, oh, yes, hands down the best vanilla, hands down. Eau de Parfum concentration or extrait, I think it's Eau de Parfum. Yes, Eau de Parfum concentration and actually the, the liquid really turned, it's much more ambery. Before it was more yellowish, now it's very ambery and I think with time it will be more ambery because of the vanilla in here. But um, but yes, this is pure vanilla, musky vanilla. It has um, it has like a vanilla cupcake. It gives me that image, like a freshly baked vanilla cupcake. But it's really like a delicious vanilla, and this one really projects. I mean, the first couple of hours, you, you will fill a room with this one. You really need to go easy in the trip. I mean, you see, I already have this one for, I mean, at least four years from now. And look, you really, just a couple of sprays, because like, if not, you will really choke yourself. Really, a couple of sprays, it's enough. Amazing, amazing. This screams fall again. Vanilla, for me, screams fall. Fall in winter, but especially fall, because vanilla really gives the warmth, the coziness of the, that, and the sense of nostalgia that uh, the fall season brings. Absolutely love this one. Tiota by Indult. Finishing this video, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments down below what are your most addicting fall fragrances. If you find value in this video, hit the like button because it will truly mean a lot to me. And see you in the next video. Take care, guys.